just so you know next week we are not getting an episode of boruto so instead of that i'm actually going to be making a video and releasing it on that day to at least entertain you with something you know what i'm saying because there will be no review since there is no episode to review now with that being said let's get on to the spoilers and you know having a you know quick glance at them i'm not really excited for what's about to happen so we have spoilers for episode 40 to 44 at least you know 40 to 43 since 44 is just the title now let's start with episode 40 so team 7's first mission boruto sarada mitsuki have come together and formed team 7 or team konamaru which i would prefer but it's team 7 right so yes we are going to the past right so the three led by jonin konamaru sarutobi have received their first mission the mission details the repelling of bandits who have been attacking a village and making it so that they never come back again Boruto and the others immediately depart for the village and come face to face with a young woman named Kiri who we have seen in the episode preview who is the daughter of the village chief who had suddenly passed away and has inherited her father's role and the others who support her. Now I'm gonna speculate on this really quickly okay so it says that her father has suddenly died maybe there was a mastermind behind this who killed her father to put her into play so you know they can you know raid the entire village and then they might think okay this person right this woman is not good enough kiri is not good enough to run the entire thing so let's put someone else into power and then they choose one of the people who actually staged the entire thing to take over the entire village like that would be exciting but you know since boruto is starting off a bit light-hearted i don't expect them to actually do something like that at the moment right so you know let's get on to episode 41 it says the power of unity wow the power of friendship right so ninja who are disguised as bandits have kidnapped kiri so like i said right i think there are going to be like a few of these ninja or these bandits who are within you know the hierarchy waiting to, for a good chance to capture or do something to kiri or anyone else who is the leader of the entire village now i i'm excited at the fact that we are getting to or going to a new village to explore what is out there right but i hope it's not like the mist arc where we barely find out anything about the village except from the fact that there's this one group causing trouble right this sounds exactly like the mist arc but i hope it doesn't go that way now it says as skinning boruto and the others are not originally meant to be given missions that involve fighting other ninja however due to pleading of the village and through konohamaru's judgment team seven now has their mission changed from repelling bandits to rescue kiri so she has been captured and they need to rescue her right it's a rescue mission basically now episode 42 and i think that you know this whole thing has been resolved you know kiri being captured right they rescued her and everything has been resolved because we have the three prodigies you know of the entire academy you know that year of academy that are in one team obviously they are gonna get the mission done right because they are prodigies now let's talk about episode 42 the work of a shinobi ever since the first mission boruto has been extremely unsatisfied with the simple and plain missions they have received boruto and team 7 received a mission to capture the criminal who is holding up the bank so basically a bank robbery right i think you know um i think very similar right and then boruto is all fired up because he is able to show off after such a long time so all these other missions were nothing to him meaning that you know the whole thing was just blazed through like a landslide you know he's a prodigy right he's a leader what do you think is gonna happen right so however after arriving at the scene the criminal who faces them is just a weak man who was unfairly fired from his company recently now the thing is boruto is unhappy with these missions and the thing is i'm not happy either now let me explain why okay so if you do not know ninjas are actually you know the military power so say for example in real life you would have police and you would have soldiers now ninjas would be the soldiers not the police so why aren't there people internally dealing with this issue right now ninjas are people who are meant to go outside and do missions like you know the one they previously had in episode 41 and you know 40 right so that is the type of thing i expect the people to do and the thing is even though it was easy because they are you know prodigies why are they dealing with a like a bank robbery or something like that like are there like not internal shinobi out there who deal with the kind of shit like i mean there are amble out there ambles you know some of them stay inside the village to you know make sure there's nothing going wrong and then there are jonin out there you know who are stationed to patrol the entire village like they had the uchiha police right so the uchiha police must have been replaced by someone else and if that is the case why are they not dealing with the bank robbery whilst the missions outside the village which the ninjas or the military powers dealing with, why don't they let the ninjas go and deal with that instead of you know letting the ninjas deal with this i think it's gotten to the point where you know ninjas are becoming redundant so you know they need to find any job for them that they can get and i think 
that um i think it's a good thing that they have established this or at least i have picked up on it by looking at the missions that they are doing at the moment right but i don't know if they are gonna you know talk about specifically that in depth now the thing is that if this is the case then what does the future of boruto hold because if you really think about it if you know they are becoming redundant they are in peace times then what other conflict is there for boruto to deal with except from you know the new conflict that has been introduced it feels like that is the only thing that they are going to deal with right but at the moment i just want to know where they are headed and you know have a good idea whether we are going to have multiple villains except from kara now let's get on to episode 14 it says the appearance of the white knight ban okay so an event thought to be have caused by a group of bandits called the white bandits has occurred at the village of the hidden leaf right so the white knight bandits are righteous thieves who steal money and items of value from the rich and give it to the poor and have been through several villages although they are righteous thieves boruto holds a strong dislike to them due to stealing from other people and involving people who are unrelated and goes to seek shikadai's opinion however shikadai expresses that maybe there are things that cannot be measured by good and evil thing is i agree and i disagree because you know good and bad is all based on opinions it's opinion vs opinion right and that is what good and bad is because you might say okay this person is evil and then someone might say you know i don't class that as evil so it's opinion vs opinion right and then with this certain situation uh, with righteous thieves i think personally that's it's pretty much the same thing right because it depends on who you steal from and who receives the present and what they think about it if you steal from someone obviously that is bad because you are stealing something from them and then the thing is they most likely did not deserve to get stolen from you know what i'm saying unless you're stealing from a thief then you know if you steal something from someone that is bad right i don't need to tell you that that is common sense but the thing is if you give it to someone who is in need right you are helping them but at the same time you are not helping them there's this phrase which says you know teach a man to fish and then he will fish forever and then you know if you feed a man just for one day then you know you just feed him for one day they're not gonna know what to do so in a way you're doing their job for them you're not teaching them nothing so in a way you're making them happy but it's only temporary and even if you steal something and then give it to them you are not solving the problem because after a while right the money's gonna run out that you stole for them and then they are back to square one so the issue is still there and the stealing is nothing but a temporary fix it's pretty much the same thing like drugs i mean you're gonna say okay i just need this one and then i'm just not going to touch it again and then after you touch it right and then you know the high wears off you're like okay cool i just need another one it just keeps coming and coming so you know the whole righteous thief thing is not really a solution whether it's good or bad it is not the solution so episode 44 we have no summaries for but we do have the title and it says shikadai's doubt okay so shikadai is probably going to give boruto some advice and that is pretty much all i can guess from the you know the summary the whole episode is going to be about that i hope the episode is not as bad as the one where Inojin was you know learning how to use his super b score like that was really bad i mean the best part was you know himawari but yeah that is pretty much it i really um i really like the fact that this is a mission where it just doesn't end up in a fist fight kind of thing and you know that is something new that they are doing for boruto for boruto not naruto so you know um, i'm happy about that that they are exploring new answers except from you know let's punch the problem and, and then it goes away right so with that being said that has been the spoilers for january to you know february right subscribe if you're new right and also check out the boruto in-depth playlist as well as things you missed and you know have fun watching those because they go into depth in boruto as well as things that you actually missed so with that being said i have nothing more to say enjoy your day and bye